and ended mistake. up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. That doesn't sound doesn't like you. Doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Not enough to get wasted, is it? I don't get wasted. Ever. I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick and dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? Oh, shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. No, he wasn't. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. Then I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... And... Are you sure? Of course. You think I'm making this crap up. Why? No, I'm just... being deductive, as usual. Then what happened? That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? Mm. I need to know what to do. Or Kate. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Go to the police. Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned some serious bad karma. He'll get it. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal after getting a scary text threat. Now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. I think it's worth it. I mean... You know what was happening, so... It's probably best. No emoji. What is up with you and your emojis? Not me in. Fine, I won't disturb you. Fine, I won't disturb you. 
and bullshit. Let's talk later, Max. Mm. I'm not watching the video, Max. Okay, good. I don't have time, Max. I can't talk now. Go away! People are sleeping! Clearly not a morning person. Taylor is no doubt being led around by Victoria, as usual. Leave the girls' dormitories. What pictures do I need to take? Bone giants. Birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey, Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. I do love Hi. the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet, and I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. And the squirrels always come in the morning for food. I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> what do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. <laughs> so, what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. You're very strange, Samuel. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrel. It's time for your 15 minutes of fame. Porto. Yes. Another Pulitzer for the portfolio. Beautiful. I can see that Samuel's how did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Creepy. Never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? Samuel really should keep this locked. It's a waiting accident and too easy to sneak into. I can see that. How did Samuel get photos of Rachel posing? Let us ask him. 
Hey, Samuel. You're up early. Oh, hello, young Max. He's so weird. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. Sure you can. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but... Why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you. That's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah. She gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. The squirrels always come in the morning. Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at mm. me. Like it was... Oh. Talk to you I again. so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Such a creep. He's such a creep. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even talk to me after the shit you pulled yesterday with Victoria? I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk for once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. She and she's is a bossy bitch. too. Look, you don't know her. I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Hi, Taylor. Why would you even... T I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What, what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. What kind of consequences could that have? Fuck you. Max, get over here. Lauren, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? 